let's do this. What's up dudes, dudettes, and everyone in between, this is me, Jamari. I'm coming to you guys live from the great state of Maryland in my wrinkled plain white t-shirt. You know how it goes, I just woke up not too long ago. Anyways, I'd like to apologize for the terrible video quality because yes, it looks kind of bad, but you know, it is what it is for now. Anyways, I'd like to apologize for not uploading my funny content in a while. You know, I start to branch off and do other stuff, but it is what it is again. Um, anyways, without without any further ado, any further ado, I'd like to welcome you guys to my first q and I've held a Q&A for anyone to ask me questions over the course of a day. So let's go into those questions without a shadow of a doubt. Let's do it. All right, so I got three papers of questions here. You know, because I'm just popular, I can't help it. I can't help it that I get asked a lot of questions. But I'm too broke to have a camera and have a phone to read it off of. So, you know, I'm doing it old school. I had to handwrite all of these broke people stuff. You know how it goes. Anyways, let's start. Next question comes to us from Gabe. Gabe asked, What's your first smartphone? My first smartphone had to be um, my iPhone 4. If you wouldn't say first smartphone, my first like it was my first like phone phone was a slide out phone. I remember like I remember like looking at like porn on that phone and my brother catching me. Anyways. Um, uh, Gabe also has my last smartphone. Um, I currently have a Galaxy S8 and an iPhone 7 Plus that I need to get fixed. I was also thinking about getting the Google Pixel 2 XL or the um, or the Galaxy Note 8. I don't know. It's whatever I like so far. This next question comes to us from Abdel Rahman. Abdel Rahman, an Arabic name. Um, he asked. How did you come out? Um, well, back in middle school, back, all right, so back in middle school, I basically said, uh, hey guys, I'm Jamari and I'm gay. <laughs> um, he also asked, are you single? Yes, unfortunately. Um, he also asked, how long can you engage in sexual intercourse and I'm not answering that because that's inappropriate and I'm a child of God so can't help you with that my friend. Next question comes to us from Bobby from the Volvo Kick Group <laughs> where we talk about Volvos, um, the cars. Um, he asks, is the egg salad more salad or egg? I prefer it more egg. Because like the like the mayonnaise, the egg, it like just goes, it like holds everything together. Like you know, you have all the lettuce, you have all the like carrots, you know, you know, it makes it good. Like more egg than salad in the egg salad, you know. Just uh, yeah. Brooke Grinder, Brooke's a real one. I'm telling you, she's a real one. Uh, she asked, oh, what makes you like Trump as president? One second. All right, so what makes you like Trump as president? It's backwards, I know, it's phone funny, it sucks. Um, I just like how he likes standing up to everything, and he's like, China is bad. <laughs> he's also like trying to do like stuff for the American economy, like create jobs and stuff. I know, cause I'm not prepared for like a political argument, but I just like how he's like trying to take charge of the country, cause after like having a very weak um, a very weak president before him. It's good to see. It's good to see um, Trump like just like you know, like America first, America, America. Fuck China. Fuck Mexico. You know stuff like that. It's quite inappropriate. What do um, somebody? I don't even know how to say this. Somebody asked, "How often do you eat ass?" I'd like to tell you that I never eat ass because that's inappropriate, and I'm a child of God, so. I can't believe you'd ask that on this Q&A. This is supposed to be family friendly, all right? I do not eat the ass, all right? Somebody else asked, what are your thoughts on Chris Chan? Oh, Christian Weston Chandler. Um, 
Chris Chan. Chris Chan. See, many of you like might not know who this is. Like the, those who are watching, look at look him up. He's an um, interesting individual indeed. But my thoughts on Chris Chan. He is a product of his circumstances, um, like of his parents not getting him like the help he needed. Um, then he just. I know he couldn't control that, but at the end, he just became a very fucked up individual. But, what do I think about him? He's good for laughs. That's what he is good for. Sorry if you don't, guys don't know Chris Chan. It's just a little group I talked about. Delta from the group asked, Why are you gay? Um, I don't know that. I never chose it, so let's just move on. Um, he also asked, When did you find out that you were the gay? Um, when I found out I was gay. All right, so in elementary school, uh, you know how ele you know how immature elementary schoolers are. They had they had this um, stall, like this certain stall in the bathroom called the gay boy stall, and I was completely oblivious that they had the stall that they had the stall or what it even meant. So they said, "Oh, Jamari went into the gay boy stall." So I didn't know what being gay was because I was like nine at the time. So I went on my Nintendo DS on the internet and I looked up gay and that's kind of when I found out. So Angel, oh my god, he asked, how far can a... <coughs> something very inappropriate fit down your throat? Um, I don't know because I do not have... Um, inappropriate actions because again that's inappropriate and I'm a child of God and I'm waiting till 18 <laughs> anyways um, Willis uh, Willis he asked the question about why I'm so adorable um, he asked do you like chicken nuggets yeah they're one of my favorite food I like junk food that'll get me sick and whatever that's the type of food I like um, yeah Burger King's Chicken Nuggets is good. You guys should definitely eat Burger King's Chicken Nuggets more than anything else. Um, he also asked, how old is your wiener dog? <laughs> we don't know. We just know. One second. Alright, so how old is my wiener dog? This is my little weenie. This is my little weenie. Um, I don't know. Um, she was a stray dog that we got from a family member because they couldn't keep her. And... <laughs> And we just know she's an old dog. She's old because you know she has the um, the white around her face. And look, she's yeah, she's just the older puppo. She's just the older puppo. Ah, my goodness, you have a puppy, puppy, yeah, you. <laughs> so Omar from the group asked, "Why is your head so tall?" Um, actually, in reality, my head really isn't that. Tall. It looks like this because my hair is like tall, but in reality, my head is like this. Um, I don't know why people say I have a big head because my head really isn't that big. I know I have a big nose, but um, not a big head. Um, he also has, why do you like Volvos, the cars, and not even the good looking ones, the ones that look like cockroaches? Um, I just like to tell you that Volvo 240s. A Volvo 240 at car, it does not look like cockroaches. The Volvo 240s are the best cars ever, besides the 1990 Toyota Camry. And um, I do like the look of the new Volvos, like the new J60, but I just like the look, the boxy look of the 240. We'll have another question from Omar. Omar asked, are you single-handedly responsible for Burger King foot lettuce? Um, if you don't know, I work at Burger King. Um, I'd like to tell you, no, I'm not responsible for the Burger King foot lettuce incident. Um, I'm sorry if you were affected, like if your lettuce had been stomped on. But I just like to say I'm not responsible for Burger King foot lettuce. So. So, our next few questions come from Latiffany. Oh my goodness, you, if you guys don't know Latiffany, you guys need a Latiffany in your life. Latiffany, she's a real one, yo. I'm being honest. Um, she asked... She asked a whole bunch of questions from here all the way down here. So, 
let's just run through them. Alright, so our first question is, when did you start enjoying traveling to New York? Um, I always enjoyed traveling to New York. I don't know, it's just something about all the tall buildings and being in the midst of like thousands if not millions of people. I don't know, I just like something about that. Our next question is, where is your favorite place to relax? My favorite place to relax is in my room because, I don't know, it's just like so cozy. I could chill with my wiener dog. I have two VCRs, so you know, I could just pop in Finding Nemo anytime. My bed and my cover's comfortable, so you know. Yeah, it's comfortable. Um, she also asked, would you ever want to be a photographer? Yep. Um, you guys will know this, but I do run a photography page on Instagram. Um, I'll link it with my other stuff below in the description, but I don't know. I, I, I would want to be a photographer. Like, I could just capture something, you know, make it look good. Anyways. Her next question is, what is your future job? My future job would be, um, teaching, well, one of my jobs would be a news reporter or a news broadcaster. Uh, the second one is, would be, the second one would be moving to China and teaching English, because I have, like, the stuff for, like, Chinese culture after I learned Chinese in middle school. Or my third job would be, uh, teaching high school, teaching a high school class here in America, so it's either one of those.